all animals. Oh, bet you feel like a big man now, huh? One of Cecil the lion's sons has been shot dead by trophy hunters in Zimbabwe. The six-year-old male named Zanda was killed last week not far from the spot where his father was taken two years ago. And by that we mean, the magnificent lion was cut down in his prime by some sociopath who paid about 50 grand in a side attempt to overcompensate for his deficiencies in the trouser department. Zanda's death came to light because he was wearing an electronic collar that was fitted by researchers to track his movements. Professional hunter and professional D-bag Richard Cook, who was also involved in the killing of Zanda's four-year-old brother in 2015, handed the collar back to the researchers. The crazy thing is, all of this is legal. Zanda's death gets the okay from the authorities in Zimbabwe because he was aged over six and had strayed outside the protected area of a national park. Zanda has had seven cubs under his watch, and scientists warn they could now be killed by the male lion that replaces him as the head of the pride. The death of Cecil the lion caused an uproar in 2015, after he was killed by an American dentist who paid $65,000 for the dubious privilege. The Humane Society International have started an online petition urging Zimbabwe not to allow Zanda's remains to leave the country as a hunting trophy. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Cecil the lion's death outraged animal lovers around the world. Minnesota Dennis Walter Palmer Lion Low. Ooh, too soon? Cecil the lion, a noble beast from the plains of Zimbabwe, was assassinated by a balding American dentist in early July. Since then, the former Lion King has become king of a media circus. You got angry celebrity animal rights activists and a white rich jerk who paid 50 grand to kill a lion. This is the story of the century! Or is it? There's little doubt Dr. Walter Palmer is a jerk hole. Not only because he participated in numerous cases of animal abuse, he's also an alleged sexual abuser, but not of animals. This woman, Tammy Brevik, worked for Dr. Palmer about a decade ago and was reportedly awarded almost $130,000 in a settlement over Palmer's unwanted physical contact, which according to a 2005 complaint, included verbal and physical conduct involving her breasts, buttocks, and genitalia. Whoa, now that's covering all the bases. Tammy told the UK's Daily Mail she's rather enjoying Dr. Palmer's suffering, noting that karma is a female dog. We're pretty sure the irony of Hunter Becomes the Hunted hasn't been lost on this Musafa murderer. The despised dentist has reportedly gone to ground, which is probably a good idea, considering even the White House has weighed in, saying they will review a petition to have Dr. Palmer extradited to Zimbabwe. But while we're on the subject of Zimbabwe, it's well and good that people give a hoot about that nation's wildlife, but is it too apples and oranges an argument to note that many fewer hoots are given about the human residents of Zimbabwe, who suffer from rates of poverty and HIV that would figuratively blow your mind? Mind. Finally, mob justice is injustice. Harassing this idiot's business and home is dumb. Boycott his practice, sure, but putting a sign on his door telling him to go to hell, uh, that's just one. Outrage is cheap and addictive. But how about asking a meaningful question or two? Is legal hunting actually good for animal conservation, as some argue? Does anyone care that for many Zimbabweans, a dead lion is the least of their worries? When the roar over Cecil finally dies out, what will we have learned? Very little, we suspect. American dentist hunted for the killing of Cecil the lion. A 55-year-old dentist from Minnesota has been identified as the killer of Cecil, a famous and beloved lion in Zimbabwe. Walter Palmer allegedly paid $55,000 to bag Cecil during the first week of July. Cecil was first shot with an arrow, then stalked for 40 hours before he was killed. His body was found skinned and decapitated outside Huangi National Park, prompting Zimbabwean police to search for his killers. Palmer, who has since gone into hiding, said he was unaware of Cecil's status as an icon and blamed his local guides, who are currently in big trouble. The avid hunter's dental office is now closed. The social media pages of his dental practice have been flooded with messages condemning him and hunting in general. Cecil's death is not Palmer's first brush with trouble. In 2008, he lied to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service about the location where he killed a black bear in Wisconsin. A Zimbabwe Conservation Task Force official said that Jericho, Cecil's successor in the Pride, will most likely kill all of Cecil's cubs, which only added to the public's rage. Bex Ndolovu, founder of the African Bush Camp Safari Company, has called for a government ban on the hunting of lions. But what about other animals? Should hunting even be legal? Is killing animals for sport and recreation even right? Hunters targeted by outrage after Cecil the lion's death. 
After the media circus coverage of the death of Cecil the Lion at the hands of dentist Dr. Walter Palmer, other hunters have also become the subject of public fury. Authorities in Zimbabwe have revealed that another American, Dr. Jan Seski, also killed a lion without any quota or permit back in April. Seski is a gynecologic oncologist in Murraysville, Pennsylvania, and he was identified following an investigation into illegal game hunting in Zimbabwe. The U.S. government is reportedly considering a petition to extradite Palmer, who has gone into hiding, so Seski better watch his back. As the outrage over illegal poaching reaches a fever pitch, the huntress, Sabrina Corgatelli, is also being attacked online and flaunting her murderous lifestyle on social media. Netizens are none too happy about her activities killing innocent wild creatures, even going so far as to say they want to hunt her, attacking her looks, and it doesn't stop there. A Facebook page has been created, calling for an end to her barbarism, with some demanding for her to be removed from her job as an accountant at Idaho State University. Mick Powell tweeted, Sabrina Corgatelli, what a vile, disgusting, perverted, and extremely ugly bitch. Your time will come. I hope it's lingering and painful, scum. But let's end all of this on a happy note. Some media had reported that Cecil's brother lion Jericho had also been killed, but an Oxford University researcher refuted those reports, tweeting that Jericho is alive and well. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Killer of Cecil the Lion's History of Illegal Hunting Practices Dr. Walter Palmer, the pariah who murdered the beloved Cecil the Lion, actually has a sordid history of killing innocent wildlife without following the letter of the law. Palmer has killed not only Cecil, but also moose, buffalo, a mountain lion, and probably lots of other cute, cuddly creatures. His first offense was fishing without a license in Ottertail County, Minnesota, back in 2003, for which he paid a small fine. Then, in September of 2006, Palmer shot a black bear outside the boundaries of where his hunting permit allowed him to murder animals. As if that wasn't bad enough, he tried to bribe the hunting guides he was with to lie to the authorities about where the kill took place. But the three men didn't take the bribe and they didn't lie to authorities, who took Palmer to court for the murder of the adorable black bear. Now, Palmer is one of the most hated men in America. He's faced all kinds of abuse for killing Cecil. And since the latest crimes have come to light, it doesn't look like the hunter hate is going to stop anytime soon. The government of Zimbabwe is reportedly trying to have Palmer extradited to be charged with killing Cecil. Tour guide mauled to death by a lion in a park that was home to Cecil. Representatives at Zimbabwe's Huangay National Park, the very same park where Cecil the lion roamed free before being killed by an American dentist, confirmed Monday that a tour guide died after being mauled by a lion. The guide, Quinn Swallis, had reportedly been tracking a pride of lions with a small tour group that very morning according to a Facebook post by the park when a male lion unexpectedly charged at him. The 40-year-old, whom the camp says was fully qualified and very experienced, died at the scene, but reportedly made every effort to successfully protect the rest of his group. Thanks to Swallis's heroism, none of the guests in his care sustained any injuries. They were eventually able to scare away the lion before contacting park officials. Condolences quickly popped up on social media, such as this one, from Washington, D.C.-based Nick Dawson, who was once taken around Camp Huangue by Swallis and said, quote, awaking to very, very sad news. Last night, Quinn Swallis, our guide in Zimbabwe, was killed. He also posted this photo of Swallis, noting just how knowledgeable a guide he was.